Okay, yeah. this is a um, grade 3 uh, and PSC is fairly dense cataract. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, FACO. It's the right eye of a p person who's about 60 years old. And I'm going to uh, use a Stellaris Elite mission. So the first incision is always my side port. I use the Mani knife, which is very good for this uh, both side port as well as the main port. I'm using the Blurex. Yeah? <laughs> Rupal, don't pull my leg. So this is a guard knife. Are you able to see this? This is a guard knife which, uh, which yeah. gives me about 300 micron depth. Again, I'm using a Mani 2.8. going up on the cornea and then dipping down so it create a good sufficient length I start with the needle and then switch over to the Utrata forceps. So this hybrid method is your preferred method in all types of cataracts or do you normally I do uh, otherwise I do what is called pinchorexis. Mature cataracts you must have heard of pinchorexis. Pinch your exercise, just pinch with the with the Utrata forceps, go around. See the rexis is fairly good size and shape. Absolutely. The advantage of this Stellaris Elite machine is got adaptive fluidics similar to the active fluidics. So it compensates uh, the good, uh, what you call the chamber stability. There's a dynamic infusion compensation technology which is available there. Is it centered well for you guys? Yes. No, it goes a little bit, but you can slightly, slightly, yes. Okay, yeah, so that's good. One. I just make a small trench. And are you using any special chopper? Or? My chopper. The Mohan Rajan 1.75 chopper, which is made by Appa Swami. You can see this chopper. H. I use the hyper pulse. Tell me if it's not in focus for you guys. It's very well seen. So what is the advantage of this chopper is, see I'm just dipping down into the nucleus. This is a vertical chop. It see how it opens up the posterior nuclear plate despite the fact that it's a very dense cataract. It's okay now? Yes, yes, very well sir. And I believe you are finishing all the chopping and then you can see fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finishing all round and then I will take one by one. The advantage of this chopper is that it opens up the posterior nuclear plate and the advantage of the machine is the stability and you can go, you can use the dual linear. Being a venturi system, it works very fast. It's like driving a Ferrari car. 
but the control is there because of the advanced uh, fluidics and the fallibility is just superb can you see that can you see that i'm just staying at the center the advantage of the venturi system like stellaris elite is that can I have the ac on please i was feeling very cold so i asked him to switch off the ac John, what did you say? Is okay now? You can see how then dense the cataract is, but see, it's a very brown grade three, grade four cataract, but it eats the cataract, so it's like a workhorse. the stability of the chamber you can just actually close your eyes and op operate without any problem at all no no it's a 15 degree i don't do 30 degree the advantage of 15 degree is that <coughs> you have the balance of both this is a capsule guard ia it's not uh, fully it's not proper ma ಇಲ್ಲ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಬಿಡಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೂಲ್ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಐಎ which is a silicon single piece silicon sleeve which is a new feature in the uh, stellaris missions no no it's not it's coming out ah are you able to see the capsule guard ai I'll, I'll take it inside it doesn't have any sharp edge you can see that the capsule guard i eight is cover, covered by the entire tip is covered by a silicon sleeve can you see that so actually it's uh, because it's a uh, what i do is normally i uh, remove the sub incisional cortex first yeah i wish could regular i could what's the advantage of this sleeve is it uh, the the capsule guard i actually am um, uh, uh, giving on the posterior capsule water no can give that huh? no problem you can polish the anterior capsule no 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 it actually uh, uh, protects the posterior capsule because of the, uh, oh, the yeah max is it a relatively new addition to the stellaris machine yeah this technical over back 
Yeah, I use always the coaxial. This capsule guard is something I'm using now. But it works very well. I've been using for the past few days only. Max. Something which is stuck there. Give me the regular IA. I'm going to use the Laxmart lens. The Laxmart lens is again a new uh, feature of uh, the Boschenlom products. It's a beautiful lens. I've been using. Okay. It's a heat off lens. Not a, not a problem at all. You know what happened actually, this uh, capsule guard which I was using, there was a small epinucleus bit which caught, caught between that silicon sleeve and the tip. That's the reason why it was not uh, going. So once I go, went over to this thing, as you can see this is the preloaded one. So the preloaded Luxmart, the Luxmart lens is a uh, plate haptic, hydrophobic, acrylic lens of Bosch and Lom. It's really a smart lens. That's why it's called Lux Smart. It's a heat off lens. And there is a central 2 millimeter. There is an alteration in the spherical abrasion. Uh, I've been using this lens for the past uh, two weeks now with excellent uh, results for these patients. Of course, the long term results we need to do. It's a preloaded technology and uh, only thing is you need to wait after uh, loading the lens, you need to wait for about 30 seconds. That's what we are doing now. And uh, it works uh, very well for distance, intermediate as well as near vision. What I do is the first eye, I don't go for the dominant or the non-dominant eye. The first eye, I always make it emetropic for distance. And then the second eye, I make it slightly myopic by about 0.5. So this works wonderfully well and because the intermediate as well as the near vision is very good. Because it has no rings, it's more of a refractive optic technology. There's no diffraction. There's no diffractive rings. So slow, you can see it's being pushed now. The push technology, you can see that. The lens is coming out beautifully centered. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very well centered. You mentioned. Have you, uh, have you used the Acreos AO lens? Yeah, it's yeah, similar to the Acreos AO lens, the same four, four point optic. Why do you need to wait for 30 seconds after? 30 seconds we need to wait because uh, the lens. Uh, has to uh, come back, uh, I think uh, it has to fold properly. That's what they say. I 
I can ask the company people, Vinay, why do you have to wait for 30 seconds? Internal? For the smooth Yeah. For a smooth implantation of lens. You can see the lens has beautifully gone into the bag. The beauty about this lens is that uh, post operatively we've been seeing these patients. The eyes so quiet and the patients are very happy because there are no rings. See, please understand that uh, the the uh, EDOF lenses or the unifocal plus lenses are going to be the future because many patients with the multifocal lenses, they are not very happy because of the photic phenomenon. The ring lenses, whatever you do, can have some glare, halos and photic phenomenon. And uh, these EDOF lenses are probably the way to go in the future. These are lenses without any photic phenomenon. The contrast sensitivity is excellent. The, uh, the range of vision is really good. The defocus curve also is very good. Point five, point point five, sir. With point five, uh, how does the defocus? I don't have a long-term study for these lenses, but uh, we have for the other lenses as well. The defocus. Uh, so, uh, what, what does the uh, it's about one point five. Our one point five to one point seven five. The other com company says that only. Can you see the lens is well centered in the bag, and the axis is very nice. And uh, yeah, excellent, super fit is perfect and uh, wonderful surgery. Thank you, thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So the. Uh, How big is the optic of this particular lens? What? What did you ask, Rupal? How big is the optic? How big is the optic? Six mm. Overall is about eleven, no? 11 mm, overall 11 being a plate haptic lens. It's got a 360 degree um, edge square. So that also prevents the uh, PCO. But we do not know long term studies we need because Acryo CO, the PCO was little high because of the hydrophilic lens and the and the and uh, this thing was there for these patients. Thank you very much.